nation of Islam compared to traditional Islam, where traditional Islam is from what the Prophet Muhammad and uh, what all the prophets came with, you know, calling us to pray to God alone, um, with no separation from race. Um, you know, we believe in all the prophets. Every prophet came with the same message, telling people to worship Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And the religion of Islam put emphasis on monotheism. You know, the greatest sin that a person can do is associate partners in the worship with Allah. When Allah alone created us, when Allah alone provide for us and feed us. Allah, for example, means the God in Arabic. When you go to the Middle East, the Jews and the Christians in the Middle East in North Africa, when they say God, they call him Allah. Even the Jews, even the Christians. They're not Muslim, but Allah is the, the name of God, the one and only true God. So Muslims, we accept all the prophets from Adam and Jacob and Isaac, Moses, Jesus, just to name a few. And the last messenger is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the nation of Islam, the nation of Islam pretty much did what the KKK tried to do with the Bible. You know, the KKK took the Bible and tried to justify um, they racism and they acts to oppress black people. You know what I mean? The KK, the nation of Islam took the Quran and start saying that black people are the chosen people from God and all white peoples are devils. Which the real religion of Islam, it doesn't. As the Prophet Muhammad said, he said that an Arab doesn't hold, doesn't have any. An uh, Arab is not better than a non-Arab and vice versa, and a black is not better than a white and vice versa. What separates a per person is his taqwa, his piety in the eyes of Allah. So Allah doesn't judge us by our skin color. You know what I mean? Allah doesn't care what skin color we are, what race we are. And the Prophet Muhammad came to all people, all mankind, not just the Arabs, you know? So the nation of Islam, they was pushing that white people are devils, black people are God, Allah is uh, Elijah Muhammad is Allah reincarnated, which is the greatest sin in Islam, to say, to try to associate Allah with his creation is the greatest sin and if a person die upon that sin Allah will never forgive him you know what I mean so you have a lot of people that was once in the nation of Islam accepted Islam and I think if a person is sincere and um, really trying to worship their creator then they will read about Islam and they will leave the nation of Islam like many of my friends I have my mother and father was once in the nation of Islam and when Malcolm X uh, went to Hajj he came back and became Muslim my parents also became Muslim and followed Malcolm X you know what I mean so I think if a person is sincere, they really want to follow the religion of Islam, they will search for it, they will practice it correctly, you know what I mean? So, pretty much that's it. You need some free tutoring? Yeah, we Muslims also believe in Jesus Christ. We the only book that has a whole chapter called the chapter of Mary, the mother of Jesus. We believe in Jesus. We believe Jesus was born miraculous without a father. We believe that Allah sent the spirit, the angel Jabril, the angel Gabriel to blow the spirit, the Holy Spirit inside of Mary. That's how she gave, that's how she conceived and, and um, gave birth to Jesus. We believe in all that. We believe Jesus is a messenger and a prophet. We believe in all the miracles that Jesus done, but we don't worship Jesus. We don't pray to Jesus. Jesus done all these things so that people can know that he's a true um, prophet and messenger. So these were, these were signs so that people can follow him. You know what I mean? Why what? Now, Pac was a Muslim. Pac was a Muslim. You want to know about, like, you know about, I'm going to put this website up, you know. And you can read, Arno, what's up, bro? Arno, what's up, man? We're going to have to chop it up.